Welcome to D320 Block 4. The first document that you want to read is the companion. And as you proceed through the block, do make sure that you keep the aims and outcomes from the companion in mind all the time. Do look through the outline of the block before you start work on any other parts. Don't go straight into the practical work without first understanding what you're trying to achieve. The workload is quite intensive and you do need to plan out what you're going to do and when you're going to do it to make sure that you have completed all the aspects before you come to the end of module assessment work. We're going to look at the practical work today and how it relates to the rest of the module. And we're using the Active BPEL designer there's a user guide which gives you details and if you're unsure of something you can look it up here but the course materials do take you step by step through all the activities that you need to take you may need to use the guide to look up few aspects when you come to the end of module assessment. The first document that we need before we start any practical work is the active BPAL preferences and this has to be set up on Eclipse before you do any of the practical activities. This is my view of Eclipse before we set it up. Activities in Designer Preferences. I need to go to the window, Preferences, and I've selected Active BPL, which is this option here. I need to give a namespace, so I'm going to use my reference and I'm going to use the T320 and BPAL. So that is my unique namespace for this work. The expression language needs to be set to xQuery. OK. Suppress joint failure should be left unchecked abstract process should be left unchecked BPEL version should be set to BPEL2 which is already in default create xpath should be checked Disable selection failure should be left unchecked. Launch primary property dialog after add should be left checked. Right. So we'll apply that. OK, 
hopefully that accepted that. My next action is to set the layout. I need to expand the active BPL and choose layout. Set each of the entries under the size for margins for containers to 5. This is already there. Set each of the entries under spacing between levels and nodes in the layout to 10. That's already there. I'm going to set the namespace for the web services and I want the WSDL files and I'm going to change the namespace here to my own And I'm going to change the XML for the schema files. Sorry. Okay. Some error messages, although you might want to switch them back on later. And we're looking in the server policies, server compliance, and we're setting both of these to ignore compliance. We are also going to switch off an XML warning message. So we want XML files. And we want to set this to ignore when no grammar. Also set the help preferences. To using an external browser. Mine's already set there by default. We need to set the preferences in the general tab on the workspace. And we need to be sure that it's set to build automatically. Close Eclipse and restart it.